but it sounds like you're going to be on the airplane um, during Halloween. Did you already celebrate this past weekend? Yeah, I dressed up. What was your costume? Um, my girlfriend and I were Austin Powers and Foxy and Cleopatra. <laughs> wow. It was was really, that well received? Yes. Like, so well. And were people like, Austin Powers? Yeah, no, I fuck, like, I really, I'm like, I got stressed and, like, did not plan this outfit at all. And then I was like, I'm just hoping that I own his outfit in the movie, like, the blue suit. And I was like, I think I do. So I, like, found the blues. I found, like, a really similar blue suit vibe. We want to make sure we give people a good glimpse into this magical world in which you live. Uh, we took some pictures from your Instagram. We're going to show them to the audience. You can just tell them what, tell us what it's about. Okay. I think this first one involves <laughs> cut out of a very <laughs> famous and important person <laughs> who is close to all of our hearts. Please tell us what is going on in this picture. Oh, my God. I love that picture. I'm so glad you brought this up. Um, so that is a, I played a show in London, and that's my friend Rami. She's a, a delightful English woman, and I like that it's moving. I yeah. got confused. Oh, you know. I was like, where is it going? We have a lot of classy, um, high-end special effects here at about that time as you're learning. Yeah, I know. I see it. So Robbie and I are really close homies. She's an amazing musician in a band called XX, and like we, she came to my show because she's an angel, and this this cutout was in the back like of the venue like it was just there like it was just waiting waiting for you know waiting for us to take that picture and so we walked up to it and we were like we have to get it and then we put our hands on it i mean on her titties as as one would no and it's i think a lot of people were like <laughs> a lot of men clearly i don't really read the comments but i just saw some that were just like if a man did this it'd be so fucked up <laughs> and i was like Shut the fuck up! Like, what, what's wrong with you? Like, who, this is gorgeous art we made. Shout out to gorgeous art. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to beauty. Shout out to cutouts that emerge from what? nowhere and I know. call us to them. She had been in the audience the whole time, and I hadn't. I didn't see her. Like, she was in the audience. She was just standing wow. there on an elevated platform the whole time watching my show. And I mean, I you mean, could even go so far as to say she's a fan, potentially. Well, look how happy she looks that she was there. It does seem like she's pretty stoked she on the performance. She was so fucking thrilled. She really thought that was a solid one. She, she's so excited that her hair is blowing. Hair blowing, <laughs> smile out. No, I'm, I feel so honored that she was there. Yeah. I really do. That's a high Both level. Both of them, That's actually. That's a high-level cosign. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Well, speaking of keeping our smiles straight, uh, the next picture from your Instagram that we want to know a little bit more about. Oh, yeah. Dental hygiene is important. My teeth look really straight in this photo. Yeah, that actually, you do have a good smile there. I know. Um, it's, are I you, it's are you a frequent brusher and flosser? Yeah, very OCD about teeth. Oh, really? It's important to keep your teeth. I just feel like, we, you know, your parents pay so much money for your teeth, and then you just fuck them up. <laughs> I just don't accept that as a as a truth. I'm just like, I'm going to keep these. So did you have braces? Oh my god, yeah. I had big braces. Major brace phase? Major brace phase, because I had, I had big, like, fucked up teeth. It happens. Was that a painful thing to have braces for that long? Yeah, but I was determined. You I were like, these braces kid. are going to change my no, life. No, I was like, I'm going to have straight teeth, and like, no one can stop me. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to wear these fucking braces. They're hideous, and I'm going to make it work. And I'm still going to like push my titties up and be sexy. That was me in high school. I was like, I got it. <laughs> um, That's powerful. Yeah, thanks. And then so this photo is an ode to that period of when I was <laughs> um, This photo is at the dentist. I, I was having a, um, a cavity filled, actually. Yeah, it's kind of important to stay on top of those cavities. I know, and this was me there. And like, you know, like when you're at the dentist and like, you're wearing sunglasses because of the light and you're crying, but like, and it's coming out like this and they're falling down your face and no one sees them. Like they're silent tears. Silent tears. Because the, the sunglasses, the glasses. you can just see them peeping out under the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> well, those are some killer shades. Do you have a Thanks. choice of shades or are those the stock shades at the That's dentist? That's the stock one, but very cool. Yeah, very cool. Good choice. That's Good a stylish choice. dentist. He's kind of on trend. Mm -hmm. No, I have, a, I have a, like a hot dentist. Like, like, he's like a hot man. Oh, that's kind of sexy. Like, yeah, like, he's like in a very attractive, like... Now, is this your L.A. dentist? Yeah. I mean, you know, L.A. dentist. It's like different than yeah, a New York dentist. Yeah, love, love L.A. dentist. What was your New York dentist like? Um, I don't... Uh, he was a friend... I don't even know. My, I don't even know my orthodontist. She was hot. 
Okay, she so was you like went a from a hot and chick and to a hot dude. She was like a MILF, but that's like more New York. It's like like a really beautiful, elegant woman in New York. And then in L.A., it's like a suave mm. man. Yeah, like, like, like chiseled. Like very chiseled. chiseled. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck that. Hey, guys, the coasts are the most. As long as your teeth are clean, that's what's important, I guess. I love that you chose that photo. What's, is there another one? Oh, we have more. Oh, I want to see it. Let's go to the next one, because much like we have animal friends, it seems as though you have animal friends oh as God. well. Oh, my God. I actually have a lot of things to tell you about this. Oh, I want to hear all about it. I was very excited. I was very, very excited to go to Australia so that I could hold a koala because I, d I didn't really, I had seen like pictures of celebrities holding koalas and I was like, I, I hope this is a reality. Like, I hope this is just what happens when you go to Australia and like a nice trip. Like you should, you should be brought to the zoo and like given a koala to hold. But then I found out that they have chlamydia. They all have chlamydia. They give it to each other. Wow. They all have chlamydia, and they also very long nail. Very long nail. Okay, which so... Which is an observation my girlfriend made. Very long nail and also big. Can koala chlamydia <laughs> be transferred to a human? Yeah, it's just like regular chlamydia. So you can't sleep it. with the koala then? You can't touch it. You can't touch them. And also, I don't know, and they poop like on themselves. So long-haired, poopy, chlamydia-having tree rats. Is kind of the review of koala holding. Okay, yeah, but they're really cute. Also, look, I was so happy. <laughs> you were really happy. It seems as though there was a lot of enthusiasm in your heart when you entered yeah, that space. I was really, really excited by the zoo, and I don't know why. I think it was just like I had never seen this animal before. Like, what is that? Where it's we don't wild have that. And beautiful nature. I don't think I've in. ever seen one. I was just like, what is? I don't even know what this is. It lo it's very strange. I want to see it up <laughs> close. I was so excited. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry that there was some disappointment involved in the koala. Yeah, experience. I'm kind of bummed about it, but I also I live and I learn. They say though, you know, I don't you learn like something. Media, so I don't. I'm not worth avoiding, I would I'm say. I'm not gonna touch it. No, you know? guys, don't. Uh, anyone out there considering touching a koala, slow your roll. There can be negative implications. No, there's really bad ones, like chlamydia. <laughs> really bad koala chlamydia. Is not, ko koala chlamydia. Koala sounds great. Chlamydia from a koala sounds terrible. The girl who was giving us the tour told us that there was, she had like scars from like koala attack. Also sounds nasty. Angry like, chlamydia <laughs> having poopy monsters? No, but it's like what, like what would you, like what do you do if a koala came at you with like a long nail just trying to fucking cut you? Run. I mean, it's just a horrible I visual. Run. It's like a weird body. Okay, next. <laughs> this next one I believe is uh, you as a gaff model. <laughs> My that's gay a, that's ass. A, that's a, that's a My big... gay ass. <laughs> this gap ass. This massive motherfucking gap ass. This gay dyke. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, look at me. That's a massive photo. I, tell me, I mean, I would say that's a solid 30 or 40 feet high. <laughs> it's like, I don't, like, I can't even imagine what it's like to be next to it. It's very spooky, y'all, but it's like, I'm, I'm, like, yes. Okay. Sure. Down. Look at me. Big. I look devious devious are you thinking devious things were they like were they asking you to be devious i like i look like i'm gonna be mean to you at a coffee shop you're like in my eh. van in my checkered vans that i'm gonna be mean to you and i look like a fuck boy could be a coffee shop incident incident waiting to happen i do like that i look like a fuck boy i think it's really funny oh my god it's so funny that you're posting <laughs> you're funny with the, with the writing it's true <laughs> It's true. We're just out here telling truths. Mean person. That's actually a great caption. Do you think Gap should rebrand the campaign with you in it? I think that you know. I think we, they. We should at least let them know that we thought of it. They're they clearly going it. for a lesbian vibe because this photo is just flaming gay. That okay. is a gay girl. Look at those gay eyes. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's funny. I like shout that. out. Yeah. Shout out to Gap. Yeah, you kept it real. Um, we have one more photo from your Instagram uh, yeah. for today's episode of About That Time. Uh, this is from, an, speaking of iconic ladies, big pictures. This is an iconic lady, oh, yeah. uh, I believe, uh, <gasps> that was on your Instagram. Oh, look at her. Look at her. It took a minute to look take at her. Take a minute. Look at the green, those green earrings are really no, You should so take bad. a minute to look at her. Oh, okay, we're good. She's really, she's really beautiful. What an amazing yeah. doily. Sad, 
serious. No, she's truly just. Um, totally game she's time. a she's a freedom fighter, and she is holding down a fort that she's been holding down for many many years, <laughs> and it must be fucking tough. And I'm so we're so lucky to have her, and she's she's a legend, fighting for fucking people's rights, just in a fucking horrible court <laughs> full of demons. Getting getting worse. I know actually. this poor woman is like. Not <laughs> This woman she's is like truly a ray of light. Years old, and she has to. She just has to deal with bullshit every day, just fucking Supreme Court ass bullshit, Night Court ass bullshit. Poor woman, but we fucking love her so much. Shout out. Shout out to Serious. RBG. RBG shout out. RBG. A ray of light amidst the darkness. That's so true. Word. Keep on doing your thing, girl. <laughs> yeah, she really is just a phenomenal woman. Uh, the first element that I'm going to ask you, basically we take these elements from your chart, you just tell us if you think yeah, they're on point or not, okay, right? Cool. So element number one, uh, makes friends effortle effortlessly. Do you feel like um, that, that resonates with you? Are you a good friend maker? Yeah, I'm, I'm good at making friends. New yeah. friends, old friends, what's your policy? Uh, I feel like I, I do feel that I wouldn't want to have like a billion friends like that be that type of person because it's I think it's really hard to like have close relationships especially when you're like touring and stuff so you want to like have some good people around you you got to have good people you that rep some, for like, you real, you can't just like transient friendships or like you know it's nice to have people who are like there for you totally so like that's fire um but I do like making friends because like LA is that city where you're just like oh like I saw you at <laughs> somewhere somewhere you're like what <laughs> you're like stop okay um, so I would say that's probably pretty pretty on point then. Um, okay, number two from tonight's installment of Astrology Time. Uh, subscribes to homeopathic or holistic treatments. No. Really? That's not true. If something goes wrong, I'm like, give me where's the medicine? Where's like, the real where's that? I was where's like, I'm that going medicine? to the doctor, we're gonna kill this shit. Like we're gonna murk this shit. I am not being sick. Um, no, but I do and that's kinda fucked up. I think it's I was definitely I'm not I wish I was more into shit that you could just be like, oh, you know, like right. doing it. Oh, I eliminated gluten and I got rid of People my. People were like, I'm not sick anymore. I made this thing and like, I yeah. just, it just fixed it. I was like, yeah, I love Koala that. chlamydia <laughs> oh just need to reduce gluten, dude. That's like an example of something that you just simply can't like, like what if some shit goes really wrong? Like you just need some fucking antibiotics. Just kill that shit. Wouldn't you say? Hmm. But I'm sorry. That's not true. All right. It's not always accurate, guys. That's why we ask. Okay, element number three. If things come too easily, <laughs> likely to lose interest. Um, do you like a challenge? Is that what keeps you motivated? I do like a challenge, but I also don't like things that I'm not good at. Do you like that? I mean, who does? I mean, some people some like people to like try like new things. Yeah, they, they always yeah. want to do, do something that they're not familiar I do, with. Yeah, I would say that's true. Okay, I like that. Um, we have element number four from tonight's installment of Astrology Time. A happiest when they can use their professional status to affect change. Aw, I would, I hope so, yeah. That makes me really happy. I really enjoy um, being a part of like the queer artist uh, scene and like I also am really proud that people are responding well to it and, and feeling like they have a home and a place. Totally. Like at my shows and shit and that's really special. Yeah. I love, I love that. And do you feel like you're bringing your own sort of specific and special message to that conversation? I do. I think that I'm definitely directing, I, I hope that I'm directing, you know, queer people's attention to our community and like the type of art that we make historically and presently and being critical of it and understanding where you came from and like our lineage as gay people. Like I think it's really beautiful um, and it's a beautiful story to tell. So I hope that people are really into like queer history and shit that sounds so fucking gay but like just like you know what I mean like I like queer history and the people that like raised our community up who can argue with that because like we make such such good art and it's been happening for so long it's like we should all be hyped to it facts 100% well that was astrology time I feel like the I feel like the horoscope was pretty on point it yeah. wasn't perfect but you know the horoscope never no, is no that was perfect. a good one thanks oh, yeah.